1,500 studies, peer-reviewed studies, and published on, on NIH's website, PubMed, mm -hmm. linking it to all of the, uh, linking various vaccines to all of those injuries. So what are they doing this for, money? Well, they're making $60 billion a year selling us vaccines, but they're making $500 billion a year selling the remedies for the injuries caused by vaccines. Wow. So the diabetes medication, the Adderall, the Ritalin, the Concerta, um, the, at the Advair inhalers, the Albuterol inhalers, the anti-seizure medications, all of those, you know, this is a, a really great business plan for these companies. You make people sick and then you sell them the lifetime cure. And measles, wow. they weren't making any money. If you get measles or chicken pox, the cure is chicken soup and vitamin A, and you can't patent either of those. Huh. And you're well in a week. There's self-limiting illnesses that go away in a week. Uh, but if you can give somebody that vaccine and make them, you know, diabetic for life, and you got a permanent customer or ADD or ADHD, and you know, many of the vaccines are for illnesses for which there is zero risk. A baby, a one-day-old baby, has zero risk of getting hepatitis B right. if, if his mother doesn't have it, yeah. which every mother is tested for. You can only get it from, you know, unprotected sex or from sharing needles. So, um, you know, why are we giving one-day-old babies a vaccine for hepatitis B? And they admit the vaccine only lasts five years. That baby is not going to have sex with a prostitute in the first five years of life. There's zero risk. And yet it's a very, very dangerous vaccine.